Welcome to Our Girl Relationships. On this channel, we talk about problems people face in their day-to-day -day lives. Let's start with a video. My mother passed away three years ago due to breast cancer, and ever since then, it has been a real time for me and my father. We were a family of three, and when she passed away, me and my dad just had each other, and somewhere to fill the void, me and my father started growing closer and having the most perfect father-daughter bond. We made sure to talk to each other every day, and honestly, it made up for all the indifference we had during my early teen years. We started understanding each other more and more. Eventually, I went to live on my own for college after the drop year, but living by yourself is not easy, and I gave up and stayed with my father at his house. We both liked it. He had someone to give him company and I felt more secure over everything and got to learn so many new things. Everything was perfect until my dad started going back to the dating scenes again. Even I was happy for him that he would finally get someone because this is the last year of my college and I have a job lined up for me in the next city. So in the next seven months, I'm pretty sure my dad would be able to find someone really amazing and fall in love with her and enjoy life. He started dating this one girl who works at his office, his employee. She's also an Instagram model. And yeah, the domain issue I had with this relationship is the age gap between them. My dad is 49 and the girl is 25. She's just four years older than me, literally. When my dad was halfway 50, she was born. And this just irks me off in a lot of ways. I know he isn't a bad person, nor does he hold more power in this relationship. And dating nowadays isn't like how it used to be back in the days. I was scared of her, the whole dating phase, but I assumed they would be just a one-date thingy and it's not something we all need to worry about. But they just started spending more and more time together with each other and then would forget that I would be sitting in the living room and start getting sexual with each other. I started going back to my apartment more often and often because I am completely uncomfortable. My dad became so much into that woman that he started skipping out weekly dates together. This is what happened last week. He and I were supposed to go to the mall to get some clothes for my cousin's baby shower and he backed off at the last second. And when I took my other friend with me, we all bumped into each other at the same place. Except he was with his girlfriend and her friends. Like suddenly she became more important than me and honestly it's not even that. We had one day to hang out together and he still chose her over me and then came with some sorry apology and then started talking about how he didn't want to break her heart and blah blah. I held myself from asking what about my heart? Like this it seems all annoying that I want to never speak to myself. Like this, it seems all annoying that I want to never speak to myself and I miss my mom so much. She would always want us to be together and have fun as a family. But my father these days is only focused on his own girlfriend and most of the time pretends I don't exist and I don't know how to react over that. It's just that I'm 21. I should be living on my own and not be too attached to my dad. And he has all rights to choose his girlfriend over me, but I don't know. We really became close to each other in these past three years, and this absence is affecting me strongly, and it feels like he's just disregarded my whole existence for someone else, and everything she decided is what is done. I'm scared, and she somewhat gives really bad vibes to me, and I don't know if I'm overthinking or something, but she just doesn't feel right to me. Anyways. I'll just shut up till I'm asked, and other than that, I'm just not interested anymore. Okay, things are escalating. I don't know how in five days of me making this post, my father and soon-to-be stepmother, who is four years older than me, are engaged and are getting married as soon as possible. It is just breaking news to me, and they haven't told me that yet personally. I opened Instagram, and I saw pictures from her story and the post with the caption, just got engaged to the love of my life and getting married in a month. Like, I don't know if my dad has lost his goddamn mind. Like, I don't know if I seem nosy, but I need to save my dad. This isn't healthy and everything. Like, he just knows this lady for a month, and he's getting married to her the next month. Like, make it make sense, folks. This is just unacceptable. 
and I am meeting my dad and talking about this as soon as possible. I am literally going to get violent, like what is wrong with everyone? So I basically, I asked my dad to meet me and he agreed to meet me at the house and I was anyway crashing there for the weekend. So yeah, I was okay. He told me over the phone that he missed me and we should spend some time together. And then when I reached there, she was with him, making out with him in my room on my bed. You see, this completely is gross. And in no way I was sleeping in that bed ever again. She needs to understand that she is going to be my mother and she needs to start behaving like that. And it's just gross for my dad. And she should know that he needs to respect my boundaries and everything else is completely deranged. Then again, I somehow calm myself down from all that disgust I was feeling. And when I say bed, I've been sleeping there since I was born. So no way I am the one being the weird one here. There are certain things that should be maintained and it doesn't matter. It's his house. It's also my mother. And after her death, I have half rights here too. We started talking. And then when I started telling him everything that has been on my mind, she barges in and starts talking about how I have misjudged her and everything. And she will back off if I hate her and don't want to be in my father's life. Like that bitch gaslighted me more than my ex did. And my dad shouted at me and told me I was crossing boundaries and I have no right to interfere in his relationships. And for me, that was it. She's taken over the whole house. She made this 40 pages long rule book. And yes, they are married. And they even got married earlier than planned. She made herself look like the victim on how I am doubting her and ruining her relationship with my father. I hate this whole thing so much. She made it clear that she's taking over the house and it's like complete dictatorship and everything is ruled by her. She made everything clear that she doesn't like me, nor is she ever going to honor my mom. And she told me that I have one day to pack my stuff and my mother's leftover stuff to take them and leave. I looked at my dad and waited for him to say something. He didn't bat an eyebrow and let her do everything she wanted to do. Here we go again. I have decided to cut my dad off and leave forever. I just need to manage for the next four months and then I am all good. That's all my dad threw me away for his new wife and didn't even bother protecting our mom's memories. Okay. Never thought that I would give an update to this, but two years have already passed. And seeing the comment section still active is, I don't know, weird, lol. I deleted this app because I didn't want to hear about it anymore. But it is what it is. They divorced after eight months of marriage. She cheated on him, and then when they tried giving another chance to it, she abused him, and honestly, I wouldn't be lying if I didn't see all this crap coming. Like the power dynamic was messed up from the beginning. My dad wasn't a stable person emotionally. And when she gave him that much, he thought she was in love and it finally ruined him. He, of course, came back telling how sorry he was. And honestly, I ain't buying that crap and he can go to hell. He literally had the audacity to think I would forgive him when all he did was to not honor my mom properly. And when she was bossing around, he kept quiet. If he kept quiet, then he has no rights to have any words to say in this. I love my dad, but what he did was just unforgivable and never will I forgive him. All the improvement we did in those three years, he traded it all for some eight month long cheap thrills. And if that's the kind of person he is, then he can just sleep around and make everyone his wife. And God forbid, if he even takes my mom's name, I would forget he is my dad. He did what he did, and there's no forgiveness for that. And about me, yeah, I'm still working at the job I mentioned earlier, so it has been a pretty good time. And I have made friends, and now I even have a boyfriend with whom things have been pretty serious, and we're getting engaged soon because we had to discuss marriage, if I was ready or not. And of course, my dad will know it from Instagram, and I'm not inviting him. My grandpa from mom's side will walk me down the aisle, and yeah, I still have everything that belonged to my mom and they are all perfectly preserved. That dad really traded his wife and daughter for a 24-year-old bitchy gold digger. Like bro, OP mentioned 
She was an employee and her attitude just shows she was just in it because the dad was paying her bills, which her job couldn't pay, all while getting a good D. I hope OP realizes soon that it's not her fault and leaves. Everyone calms down. The dad is cut off. Honestly, after the update, the whole post sounds more perfect. I feel bad for the people who read this post before the final update. The anxiety would eat me up, lol. My sister makes and sells simple, traditional outfits for women. At first, she did it just as a side job and would sell her stuff to friends and family. Approximately two years ago, she dropped out of college to go full-time and wanted to start by selling on Facebook groups and on our country's Craigslist. After a year, she decided to stop making the outfits because she was actually losing money. She was depressed for a while because it was her dream and something that she enjoyed doing. One day, I told her that the pictures she was posting are terrible. I asked her to check with friends if they want to model because a lot of people wouldn't buy her stuff if she keeps posting low-quality pictures with bad lighting of outfits lying on bed. I took some new pictures of her and her friends with the dresses. I also made a, a brand for her and created new Facebook and Instagram pages, which I managed. I also helped her with ordering supplies and shipping. After two months or so, she started getting a huge amount of orders, and even though she spent many sleepless nights, she was happy, and for the first time, started making money. I never took a cent from her, and I even used all the money I saved on my summer job to pay for advertising on Facebook and Instagram at the start because I knew how much effort she put into her work and didn't like seeing her depressed all the time after she decided to stop. Her engagement party is at our house next Saturday. Last weekend, she asked me if I could stay somewhere else during the party. When I inquired about the reason, she said, she didn't want me to get embarrassed if her boyfriend's family kept staring at me. I have burn scars on my face. When I told her I was okay with being present because I am used to people staring at me, she said she still didn't want any unwanted attention on her engagement day and it would be better if I wasn't there. After she left the house with my parents to buy some things for the engagement, I took all her stuff, sewing machine, fabrics, threads, and the orders she was working on, and I threw them away. I also deleted all her social media accounts. When they found out, they were livid at me. My sister was crying and insulting me using some words that even bullies at school didn't dare to say. My dad informed me to better start saving and looking for a place because he was kicking me out by the end of summer with my mom telling me that I should pay back all the stuff I threw out. When I told my other older siblings, they were angry at them. Still, my brother wanted to keep the peace and offered to send money to sister and talk to them about not kicking me out. My other sister was more furious and decided not to come to the engagement anymore and asked me to come live with her after I finished my exams. E.S. Sage, your sister is shallow and rude, but destroying her livelihood is not appropriate or reasonable in that situation. Turning up at the engagement party or the wedding anyway and making a scene or stealing her funder would have been proportionate to what she said. One small isolated incident followed by another with all of it over within a week or so. But what you did will set her back for years and was an immature overreaction. Hi there. I've just had a fight with my boyfriend and I need some unbiased opinions as to whether I'm an a-hole or not. For context, my partner and I have a three-month-old beautiful baby girl. We split the childcare where I do about 90% and he does about 10% because he's working. So our daughter hasn't been feeding as much due to reflux and as a result, we've been feeding her every two hours to make sure she gets the food she needs. Unfortunately, this routine has affected her nighttime feeding habits and she's waking up more often to the point that I'm only getting four hours of sleep per night during the week. My very cute daughter woke up at 3 a.m. this morning for food and it was very hard for me to get up as I felt exhausted and dizzy. I crawled back into bed at about 5.20 a.m. as it took a while for my daughter to settle back down. Anyway, as I crawled into bed, I told my partner that he had about an hour before she was due to be fed again. At precisely 6.20 a.m., I woke up to my daughter who'd started crying because she woke up hungry and my partner was nowhere in sight. I pick up my daughter 
in her little basket and go looking for my partner, absolutely furious at him. I find him coming out the living room with an oh shit look on his face. I hand the baby over to him and he said he was going to feed her but didn't know that she was awake. I tried to go back to bed but couldn't as I was too worked up and made myself breakfast while my partner was changing our daughter. When he came into the living room, I snapped at him that I might as well feed her now that I was up, that he should have taken her with him when he left the bedroom and the whole point of him doing the morning feed is so that I can get some sleep, but instead he's leaving her in the bedroom with me and waking me up. He gets mad that I didn't show any appreciation for him taking out the bins. I snapped at him again, asking, where's my appreciation for staying up with the baby until she settles so he can get a decent amount of sleep, for making sure he has time away from her crying and having time to himself, that I haven't had time to myself since she came home from the hospital nine weeks ago, and for the past week, I've coped on four hours of sleep a day, that I'm coping despite my spiraling mood. I feel like I might just have overreacted because I'm tired. I feel like I'm an a-hole. People seem to think he was taking the bins out when she was crying. He wasn't. He was in the living room doing stretches. He didn't do the bins until after I started feeding her. NTA, he's not pulling his weight and is taking advantage of you. Taking out the bins takes less than two minutes and it speaks volumes that he thinks that a big deal that you should appreciate him for. He contributes to generating the rubbish in the household as well, doesn't he? So he should be taking the bins out 50% of the time as a matter of course. Does he thank you when you take them out? If he does this little, you might as well be a single mother. At least that way you get child support payments and or a couple of days a week of respite when it's his custody days.